what's going on YouTube so today's video is going to be really short and it's man, it might be one that not very many people are interested in um, that's one reason why it's going to be short and the other reason it's going to be short is because the topic doesn't really require any kind of in-depth review so today I'm going to talk about bag swag so what is bag swag it's something that you can attach to your bag or your bags and just kind of give it a little bit of a flair, give it some pizzazz, give it a little bit of customization. Something that maybe pertains to some things that you like or a hobby. Uh, like this one right here. I uh, recently bought a 2017 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. The 6.4 liter. Anyway, Dodge is uh, pretty impressed with that company. I'm coming off of... Five, uh, an ownership of five BMWs and I recently made the switch to Dodge. I know that's probably uh, You know some of you are wondering why well, I won't go into that But I can tell you that I'm pretty impressed with the car and Dodge sent me all kinds of little goodies This is one of them. It's a leather keychain with some red stitching pretty nice little touch And I can hang it off that bag hanging off of any of these bags and it'll look pretty cool Another thing that can be swag is uh, these key fobs. This one is a uh, uh, fair, pretty much unused dark coffee brown, and it would look really good here on tobacco. And obviously, it's going to look really, really good on dark coffee brown. You can see how cool that is, how it matches. That can be swag also. Or you have these tags like this. Now, this I purchased from a friend of mine that is a subscriber and uh, she's also on on uh, Facebook anyway um, she was selling this and of course I had to have it and it looks really really cool on everybody knows the story on this guy anyway it looks really cool on there and you can move this around obviously from bag to bag uh, it looks good on this one and one of the um, most recent swag bag swag pieces that I got is this thing right here I'm not I didn't ask so I'm not real sure but it looks like men a Wero's work to me um, it's a really nice quality piece brass hardware uh, this cool I guess it, it would be considered tobacco leather and this has a looks like a like a metal really marksman uh, five-year and it says small arms practice on it. I just thought it looked really cool. So I bought that off of one of the uh, members from the uh, buy sell trade group. And this thing really dresses up a bag. So let me try and one hand it onto this. Uh, this is the squared uh, backpack from 2015, 14, 15. This is when they transitioned to what I call the ugly tobacco. I can call it that because I own it. Uh, okay, so much for one-handed. Um, so that looks just outstanding on this bag. Blends in really, really well. Let me back up a little bit. Really cool looking. And you can, of course, you can attach it anywhere where there's a point, an attachment point. Looks really good on there as well. Just really, really like this thing. And it looks equally good on the small brief how awesome that looks i wouldn't necessarily run these two um side by side that looks kind of silly i'd either run one or the other but this one here just looks looks good on almost anything you put it on we we'll probably put it on this uh dark coffee brown looks really good on there actually so that's a pretty cool little thing some of these things can be a little expensive if you have like a custom one made um, but you can hang anything off there, even a Leatherman. I'll throw a Leatherman on there every now and then. But it's just a real quick video on uh, dressing up a bag, kind of customizing it, making it your own, showing people the things you're interested in, you know, hobbies and whatnot. So, and I have another video request um, from a subscriber, and the request really isn't isn't necessarily like about a specific bag. Or a capacity or anything like that. Um, the, subscri the subscriber has asked that for my next review, the one after this, that I do it in a in a location other than this room. 
So I can understand that. So my next review is going to be outside, maybe in my backyard, which is really, really nice. Or, um, I don't know, maybe I'll drive out to the, to the lake or to a creek or to a park and do the video out there. But it'll probably be in my yard. Um, that way we can get the full sun and we can get the really, really pretty um, St. Augustine grass. I'm in central Texas. We were fortunate enough not to get hit with the brunt of the of Hurricane Harvey, like a lot of my fellow Texans down there on the coast. Uh, we did get a lot of rain, though, and my grass is just a really lush green right now. Um, but anyway, so the next review will be in a different location other than this stuffy room full of leather that really smells fantastic. So if you guys have any other requests, let me know. And... Uh, if you want in the comments let me know what kind of swag you're carrying on on your bags and uh we'll talk to you next time bye